Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be so brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I was born special and this is the truth. I was born in Cali, Colombia to my mother Margarita and my other mother. Yes, you heard it right, my other mother. Her name was Dora. Yes, I had two mothers. They were both lesbians. Well, one of them is still a lesbian, my birth mother, Margarita. The story is going to get a little bit confusing. Okay, my father was also gay. And he was daughter's brother. They wanted a child and that's how I came along. My father died of AIDS. I never had a relationship with him. But I still know that I was special. That my life had a purpose. And that even though he never looked for me, he loved me. My poor mother was persecuted because of her sexuality. She was harassed and threatened and called names. So she fled Colombia and left me with my grandmother. But I still knew I was special and that one day she would come back for me. And she did. I came to the United States hoping to see snow. And I got to see so much more. I fell in love with another girl. I guess gayness runs in the family. I was happy for sure, Marianne. <laughs> I think that this kind of rally will definitely make a difference. What do you think? Uh, we believe so. We know that the gay community, um, just like the Latino community, and not that we're different communities, we're all one and the same, uh, definitely has felt uh, the lash. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we tell you one thing, but we do another. We tell you we, meaning the Obama administration is, is you know, friendly to the gay community. Uh -huh. And then we have such a racist, reactionary figure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't remember his name, but the, the preacher from Orange County. Exactly. Who went and, and gave, you know, the opening prayer at the, uh, at yes. the square. And that, that is completely a slap in the face of the gay community. Exactly. As is to the Latino community to put Janet Napolitano in, in charge of the Department of Homeland Security. Because yeah. she was the first governor wow. of the United States to put the military at the U.S.-Mexico border. Wow. To, to keep out the, the Mexican people. Wow. So we know that we, like the gay community, we understand very clearly what it is to be like to, what it is to be backstabbed. Yes. So we uh, we feel that all oppressed communities of all colors, of all creeds, sexual orientations need to unite together uh -huh. um, to to fight the system that keeps all of us oppressed. Thank so here, yeah, I'm, I'm not anti Obama. I have nothing against the guy. The guy is a brilliant guy. He's a great orator. But that, I'm not here for persons or, or friends. No, no. We're saying that politics are what matter, and the political um, or the policies that have been passed in this administration are extremely repressive to really to all communities. And that's why this is attack really on humanity. Uh -huh. So here I am, I'm an immigrant from Colombia, and I'm a lesbian. Some people may call me a tortillera, moth diver, carpet muncher, but I prefer to be called arepera. And my girlfriend at this moment is my camera. Her name is Rosita. I named her in honor of my grandmother. Today is a May Day March, uh, 2010, 
uh, the Latino Equality Alliance has joined with uh, various uh, Latino LGBT organizations, including Gamda Abdisa, uh, the, the Wall, Las Memorias, Honor Pack, uh, Bienestar, so many of us that are coming together to march together as a contingent in, uh, to be part of the immigration reform movement uh, in the United States. The uh, LGBT community seems to always be left out of that uh, discussion and we are working to make sure that they don't forget us. You know, there's so many different facets to the Latino community, beautifully represented here today. LGB community being one of them, but within the LGB community, it's the same thing. We're so diverse. You know, it's about diversity, and it's about the American dream. We all want to be part of it, and our founding fathers got it right. I mean, come on, these truths should be self-evident. Petitions to let President Obama know that we want LGBT issues to be included in comprehensive immigration reform as well as stop the violence in the detention centers where transgender community members experience a lot of violence. So. Well, you know, I'm very proud of our uh, of our coalition and our group. We form a, an LGBT contingency for us to be represented in this movement. It is important for us to be included in whatever policies and laws that are going to be coming up. Our immigrants are the lifeblood of this country. They're the hardest working people. They're the backbone. We're all immigrants. We're all immigrants, and we should all remember that. If it, just because I'm two generations deep doesn't mean that I forgot. It makes me want to remember more, and that's why I'm here to support the new wave, the new wave of immigrants. Okay, and um, uh, now I hear that you got a visit from ICE. Yes, I actually was sitting at home on my couch, having a cup of coffee, uh, reading the internet, during, no, reading the newspaper, and somebody knocks on my door and it's an officer from ICE. And at that moment, you understand that if somebody has to come to your house to knock on your door and invade your privacy like that, it means a lot. And that's why another reason why I'm here today, because going door and invading your privacy means a lot. Um, the officer was nice, it was a nice conversation, but it doesn't mean that he's still invading my privacy and who I am. And what exactly did he say to you, this officer? What, what, what was he looking for anyway? He was looking for a roommate who is um, fighting for his rights here, fighting to stay here in the U.S. And he's hospitalized and they were still looking for him. The officer was nice having a conversation and what he told me that they're looking for people and they're looking to deport anyone because the reform is already in writing. My camera, it's not very complicated. She only requires tapes and batteries and microphones and, and I occasionally clean her. And I can take her wherever I go. And she likes what I do. And we make a difference together. We reveal the truth. We reveal the cries of the people who want change, who want equality, justice, peace. Her and I will never be silenced. Life will never be silenced. <laughs> Hi, cutie pie. So, ¿de dónde son ustedes? Nosotros somos originarios de México. ¡Sí se puede!